All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on each one of the horses first, putting this uh, monster clay on the uh, frames and getting them all ready to receive the clay. This really hardened up nicely. Um, I've got some shaping to do on the, uh, the rib cage a little bit. I can leave that for the clay, though. I just needed something underneath the uh, shoulders of the horse so that I can do the uh, shoulder blade. And uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Time to play with some clay. All right, I got the uh, first part of the leg uh, started. On both sides, I've got the uh, shoulder blade going, and uh, All right, I'm doing the last part of the hind leg, and uh, I'll s set this aside. I like the idea of doing the bones uh, out of uh, this monster clay, because when you're working in regular clay, you have a tendency to reshape the bones as you're putting muscles on and I just soon not do that I just soon have bones that uh, keep their shape and so that's what I'm liking about this uh, monster clay and if some of this monster clay pokes through the the uh, regular clay the uh, J Mac that I'll use uh, it'll be easy enough to uh, paint it to look like uh, the rest of the clay. I'll tell you, it, it takes some readjusting while you're doing these uh, bones. Because a lot of times that's where you screw up when you're in your proportions and stuff like that. I'm not going to do the hoofs until uh, I get ready to start really working on the uh, clay. But uh, getting the joints right and getting them the length of the uh, bones, the cannon bones, all that stuff correct uh, is very important uh, because you want the legs to be the same length. You don't want them one leg longer than the other leg and I'm putting on uh, the heel on this uh, leg here and when I say a heel it's exactly what it is it's uh, the heel um, associated with your foot and uh, this would be your femur and your tibia I think that's a tibia. <laughs> My uncle, uh, who really gave me a lot of guidance when I first started sculpting, I didn't have the internet like you guys have. And I didn't have uh, people offering instructional DVDs on sculpting like I have. And uh, I had to pretty much rely on my uncle 
who was one of the top sculptors and still is in the country. So I'm just getting this all finalized and uh, getting it to the point. I'll sculpt the skull out of clay. It'll be a little easier, I think. I'm, I might revisit that when I come back to the uh, actual clay. All right. I'm going to put this back onto the base and then pick another uh, armature and start working on that. Okay, this is the uh, second horse in the uh, th th threesome. And uh, I'm just plotting out the back part of his uh, rib cage right now. Now, I'm not making the rib cages wide in the uh, depth as it would be in clay because I'm going to do the clay on top of this. This is just to establish, not to uh, finalize. I gotta make a temporary support for these hind legs because they keep on wanting to drift down and I don't want them to drift down. So I'm gonna just put a piece of clay on top of it. I've got it stuck into a crack with the other end of the fondue stick and that should keep it in place. And uh, I've got to do this so that the clay, the monster clay around uh, or underneath the uh, legs has a chance to harden in place. Okay. You just sort of have to do things on the fly. I 
All right, I'll come back in a few minutes. All right, I've got the uh, width of the hips just about right. I mean, the uh, point of the hips uh, right here. It's supposed to be one head length uh, wide. And I put a fondue stick through so that I get the, the hips in the right direction. Now, I didn't do that on the last horse. And uh, this one will keep it in place until they harden. And that's uh, a good thing. Now, it's just a matter of not sculpting the hips, but getting the shape of the hips. You see, each time you do something, you, you learn a little bit more of what you can do to improve what you did before. moved my stick <laughs> I just noticed that the uh, legs need to be repositioned okay the more I mess with this the more it wants to fall out so I'm just gonna call it quits for tonight come back and work on it tomorrow I've got a couple of people coming by tomorrow so I gotta be ready for that So that's going to be it for tonight, and I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. I'm kind of liking where it's going. It's starting to get there, and I just got to leave that unfettered for now so that it will stay in place and uh, quit moving on me. Ah! I'm going to have to put a piece of clay on that again. There we go. That'll keep it in place. I'll readjust the uh, knee position and all that stuff tomorrow. That's a good start on the second one. And I'll see you guys next time. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.